Welcome back to Fisco Media Live here, and today I'm reviewing Earth to Echo. And it's an action sci fi adventure film. It reminded me a bit of the Goonies where the kids go off an adventure but this time was a space alien and who's it directed by? Well it is Dave Green, you may also know him from Turtles, Teenage Mutant Hero Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows and he also directed Spider-Man 3. It's produced by Ryan Cavana and, and written by Henry Gaiden also known for writing Shazam and the Summon Inside Your House. <laughs> um, yes. The film also stars the five kids in it called Teo, Brian, Hartwick and Ella and also Reese. Um, how do they stumble upon Ella? Well, the alien that they find has to find bits to rebuild himself and um, they have to break into Ella's house and then she wants to be part of the group and they don't really like her um, but they end up getting along just down there <laughs> but they are YouTube vloggers as well which I thought was fascinating um, as Mr Spot would say and it's kind of like one of those films where they're not actually filming them but they are being filmed by the actual camera but they're actually filming themselves too through a vlog point of view so you kind of get all the bad angles as well but it's a youtube movie you must watch in a way it is promoting youtube as well um which is a good thing, especially back in 2014 when they were filming through camcorders and how advanced technology has got with our mobile phones as we can film in 4K and a lot of them and you don't need that stuff anymore do you? But yeah, um, what happens in the film? Well, they obviously like I said they um, invite Ella into the group, they stumble on the alien, they give it a name, they don't know what it is, um, their phones are sending them maps to out, out in the desert, obviously it's filmed in California and the des desert is fast out there and they have to lie to their parents to get out the houses and they spend literally all night chasing after this alien um, where it, <coughs> excuse me, where it um, tells them it wants parts and it sends them to a bar, it sends them to, um, it's like this place where it has a slot machines in and it sends them to all these dodgy places in town uh, and they actually walk into a bar as well. Um, underage which I don't know how if there's a bouncer how would he let him in the so underage so that doesn't make sense but again I'm not thinking of it it's just a movie um but I ended up going in all these places because the alien echo needs parts to rebuild itself and it ends up getting kidnapped by these fake construction workers who bully the kids and kidnap one of the kids and yet they are never arrested as they literally go on hands on assault with these kids they steal their backpack um, and only for one reason is they're undercover simply because they saw the spaceship crash down into parts and it crashed in the parts underneath all the houses to protect itself it rebuilt itself in the spaceship the kids find the spaceship and it was amazing it looked a bit like the TARDIS design in there I thought it was pretty cool um, and it had this amazing ability where it can split 
anything it wants it into bits in the air and rebuilds it back and my kids were actually driving a truck just to escape the fake construction workers because they had to go and rescue Munch which is his nickname um, as the fake construction workers didn't want the kids to get away with it and they also did damage to Echo himself and Echo helped himself, rebuilt himself and he was fine after that but they all escaped construction men and how I would have changed the ending of this movie because one of the kids said to Echo he said even when I'm older I'll still remember you and how I would have done it is I would have changed the ending instead of them meeting up where they found the alien I would have done it as there are maybe adults or kind of all meeting up at the same place maybe 20 years later or kind of one of them sitting in a armchair one of them about 90 and one of his mates comes around taps him on the shoulder like he did in the movie trying to scare him and saying you want to go back on an adventure and then it doesn't end there and as I would have preferred that movie but obviously that's not how um, I wanted to write it so yeah that's how it would change it I'm not sure if you would have had it that way I like alternative endings but what do you think about this movie? I'm not going to tell you the whole movie I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it and uh, yeah, I loved it. It'd probably be a one-time watch. Um, but I think there actually is a TV series out. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below what you thought when you watched this movie. Have you watched Earth to Echo? And would you change anything to this movie? So give it a thumbs up. Until next time. Take it easy.